wow, just through train of thought, I just was thinking, you know, driving along thinking. I wasn't trying to think of anything. And, like, I've already felt it in the flash, but sometimes, you know, there's so many things that have happened, you don't pinpoint things, even epic things. And somehow, just through my train of thought, like, I was thinking of how it's amazing how God is part of everything. Like, how, in a way, you, you could look at the Earth as just like another little play set. You know, if all the planets were just like science projects. I mean, it's not like, I mean, I, I guess it's not like God has a physical hand where he can reach down and move things. Like, he could pick up the Statue of Liberty, like a game piece, and move it around the board. Like, move it from New York to Tokyo in, in, in like a minute. It would be crazy, wouldn't it? I mean, but it's possible. But nobody believes that's possible, so that wouldn't happen. But at the same time, something of that magnitude could happen. I mean, if that's crazy, then the sun forming is crazy. You know what I mean? And so I don't think the sun forming is crazier than having the Statue of Liberty move from New York to Japan. I mean, it's, it's tiny compared to the sun forming, isn't it? So, I mean, like, miraculous things can happen, but the belief isn't there. So as more intelligent beings come and see things that, or start thinking logically like that couldn't happen, well then, a logical person, tell us how, how the Earth started. Like, scientifically, uh, you can try all you want, but you'll never understand where it happened. It's, it's just, you have to believe in the magic of just belief and existence. That's, that's all it is. And you, it's hard. That, that's what makes it so hard for everyone to believe. But, from that idea, it went from, you know, if the sun was the first energy, and my mind started at that, and I was like, that's just crazy. I was just sitting there thinking about the planets and, like, basically failed attempts of, of, of life, of sustainable life for a long period of time, and, and ecosystem, and whatever we call it, like, that's what would would take in order to find a brain, in order to explain yourself to yourself. You know what I mean? So... During that time, I was thinking, and then my chain of thought went, so then he's been in every mind and every whatever. And it's just crazy. I mean, like, it's crazy how I can pinpoint, blah, blah, blah. And then 9-11, the idea of 9-11 popped in my head. And then, you know, I was fighting the idea of trying to focus on what it was, but then since the idea came in my mind, I mean, I can vividly picture the idea of being anything, like, to the, to the tip of the blade of the box cutter, to the, to the crash into the building, to the to the dust crumbling, to the people getting crushed, to the people being crushed, to the everything. I could picture everything, like, in detail if I want to, but I'm, like, picking and choosing not to. But then I'm thinking to myself, like, that's a horrible act. Like, wow, how could anybody even forgive that? I mean, how could you forgive that? But then I thought, like, in order to be how unconditional God is, he had to, like, just look at that, like, oops, like, as in a God sense, in a person sense, like, when you, if you accidentally stepped... And you were walking and you didn't look and you stepped on an anthill or something like that and you killed a thousand ants out of the, you know, 10,000 or a million that are in the anthill. You know, they stepped on whatever and you killed 20 ants or 100 ants, however many ants it would be. I mean, to an anthill, to the ants, that's its world, that's its building, that's its life, that's its whatever. And we just stepped on it and they all cause commotion, they all stir up and run around all crazy. Oh my God, what's happening? Ah. Well, it happens all the time on a very small scale. Every day it's happening in an ant hill and a in a tree and a bird's nest. All those kind of things are happening all the time. But those are their life structures. Like ours are buildings, ours are our homes. We're just bigger in size. At least in our plane, we're bigger in size. So for our spirit to be the same size as a bug or a bird sounds really crazy and, and insane. But our spirits are the same size. Spirit, the energy of life just is coming from the sun. It's a beam of sun. Like We're living off of a magic energy that just formed around bones and skin and you know like skin well not formed, formed around it. I mean it formed around it and within it and throughout it and it's just it's, it's the magic of just believing it's hard to explain but it's the magic of believing and in order to be totally unconditional and totally accepting even the idea of 9-11 that has to be forgiven so even yesterday when I was feeling all heartfelt and I was talking to God saying, God, I forg we do forgive you for the things you did wrong because you were just trying to figure out yourself. <clears throat> the whole time of existence was just God up to this point trying to figure out himself. And now the funny thing is, and I'm trying to say because of me, he has.
but in a way because of me he has because of him he has he found a person to talk back to himself and I mean if, if, if you could do this to if, if you could feel this way you wouldn't think I'm so crazy and you know I try to just tell myself you know I'm not gonna you know let God speak through me or talk about God or anything like that but I can't because he's my life he is me and it's like one of those things where I can't just shut it off I mean I'm driving here thinking like well I wonder, if he, I wonder if God's going to talk to me today. I mean, what kind of thought is that to even have in your head when you're just by yourself driving around? Like, I wonder if God's going to just talk to me today. And then I'm thinking in the back of my head, well, everything I'm saying is God, you know what I mean? Like, I'm saying it to myself in my head, but it's like God saying it to myself in my own voice. Like, my consciousness has merged with God's. And, like, at times, I get answers to the things I asked. I get help with things I wanted, and I just get inspiration and love to give. It's just like, uh, it's, it's in me, and it's controlling me. It's all throughout me, and I've accepted it. And it's like, so I don't understand, I don't really know how to explain it to people, because, you know, I'm not like a magnificent, special person, but we all are a magnificent, special person. So when they say everyone's special, I understand that. We're all God. We all just don't get it. We all don't understand, just in our, our form is what our form is. Like, even somebody who's handicapped and, a, and it has... Uh, mental issues and there's somebody that's even horrible and despicable like there's deep down there's just that essence of life that God energy in them they just don't know they just don't know that's all it is is that we just don't know and we're w when we're looking at something we're looking at it say if you were looking at a building you're looking at a tree look at it look in its direction look towards it but try to look through it see what it really is in your mind even if it's a piece of paper try to look through it picture what it really is where did it come from originally like feel it in your heart if you have to hold things in your hand and close your eyes and just try to feel it maybe you'll get some kind of sense of what I'm talking about and it starts from there I mean, I'm just trying to get you started somewhere I'm not trying to push you to do anything you don't want to do but at the same time I'm just trying to help so it's like pushing or assisting or leading which one's one I mean I'm not, I'm not saying do it do it do it but at the same time I'm saying I, I hope you do because it's it'll help you you'll be mo much happier you'll be you, you'd be you're just joyous I mean you, you, no one walks around saying I'm feeling joyous but I feel joyous I feel blissful I feel magnificent every second of the day every breath I take is like beautiful tasty delicious air I mean how weird but at the same time it's true I mean I, I want to help you guys that's all I want to do because I'm you and you're me, and I just, I gotta do my work thing, and I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.